Welcome to How to Buy a Pedigree Kitten. This presentation is designed and created specifically for pedigree cat breeders. We're going to learn how to design a system for yourself that checks all the boxes and helps you make an informed and confident decision when it comes to adding a new kitten to your breeding program or buying your very first kitten. You'll definitely find yourself faced with some challenging questions when you start your journey into finding that kitten that's going to fit just right in with your program. And the top three questions that you're going to ask yourself are what breeders are out there, who can I trust, and which breeder ultimately will I choose to get my kitten from? So when you start looking around, you're going to find that there are a lot of breeders to choose from. So what are you looking for exactly to make that final decision of who to buy from? You probably have some big paralyzing emotions of fear and uncertainty that you want to overcome. So those are going to be your main objections to, to face. Like, you know, once if you feel uncertain about a certain breeder, you're probably not going to buy a kitten from them. And there are things that you're looking for to help you overcome that. When you finally do feel comfortable and confident, then you're going to choose the breeder in which you're going to get your new kitten from. The utopia is what's described as the perfect scenario or the perfect kitten. And there's a journey that takes place when you're looking to find your next kitten. And unless you are using a loyalty type of purchase, which means you're going back to a breeder that you have bought a kitten from before and you had a very pleasant experience from, then you're going to go through a very specific journey until you find the right kitten. So how do you choose your top breeders? Well, it's really going to start with the simple things at first. So if you're looking for a brand new breeder to work with, we're starting all over. We have to, you know, go see who's available, who has kittens right now, what's on the market for sale, you know, what trends are breeders working with? Cause that's certainly, you know, something to consider. Um, there's a lot of trends usually going on. And then you want to get down to the nitty gritty and start your pre-screening process and start overcome those objections that you have or your trust and uncertainty about breeders. And then when you know, you know, you're going to choose the right breeder. So you usually start with a Google search for your breed. That's typically where anyone's going to start their search and you visit their website look for nice photos of their cats and photos of their kittens. You might want to know how long they've been breeding so they can offer some history on their bloodlines of their cats. Perhaps you want to see kittens that they've produced in the past to see if they're the type that you're looking for. You can typically eliminate some breeders right off the bat by just this first pr process, just by looking at their photos and just having a quick look at their website. And then some of those breeders are going to stay in your tickler file. They're going to move on to the next part of your process. Now, if you're looking um, on Facebook for a breeder or on another social media platform, you may use the search bar or you may join specific groups related to that breed. All you really have to judge from at this point is photos and videos that they're posting on social media for you to see. So you can follow those people and watch them for a while to see if they seem like a good candidate for someone to work with. You can also um, watch the comments that they're, you know, how they're engaging with their audience and just read carefully the posts that they're making to see if your goals are going to be lining up with theirs. Once you narrow your initial search down, you can typically choose four or five breeders that stand out in your mind and you're really giving them consideration. They should seem professional, take really nice photos and have a lot of information about their cattery. Then you can move on to the next stage and start asking questions and gathering facts. There's a whole series of questions and documents that you're going to be requesting from the breeder when you're considering buying a 
kitten from them for breeding. And we'll go over some of that stuff here in just a second. This stage typically is going to take the longest amount of time since there's a ton of information that you really need to make an informed decision. After all, you do want the best kitten that's available right now. So you need to do your research and determine which breeder that is. So some of the things that you want to look for when you're in your pre-screening stage are the social media presence. You want to follow their accounts and make sure that you like everything that you see. You can look for reviews, both good and bad. Um, you can search for catteries or breeders name in Google, or you can search for them in social media platforms and see if other people are talking about them or if there's, you know, either good or bad press about that particular breeder. Ask for referrals from customers that have purchased kittens from them um, and see what their feedback is. See where the breeder is registered with. So which cattery are they registered with? Um, this is particularly important if you're importing a cat into the United States or into you know, a different registry or club. And you want to make sure that the pedigree of their kitten is compatible with your, your um, club that you're associated with. You want to have a look at the breeder's contract and see what their terms are. Request to see the health certifications for both parents. So make sure the parent's name on the pedigree matches the DNA test or any health testing that you're looking at. And you can even go a step further and ask to have your kitten tested with its own full genetic DNA profile. You want to ask to see the pedigree of the kitten. You're usually going to be sent the pedigree for the mother and the father, unless the kitten is actually registered himself. And if it's um, a young kitten, say younger than four months old, it probably has not been registered um, with a pedigree just yet. The breeder has to do that. And it's typically done once they sell the kitten to a new owner. You can also ask about shipping and transportation processes and cost for your kitten. You want to get videos of the kitten with the breeder if you've never met them before just to verify that the person you're talking to actually does own the kitten and has it in their position possession i'm sorry you can ask to see photos of the parents of the kitten make sure that the color of the cat in the photo matches the color code or color that is listed on the pedigree for the kitten's parents Check the inbreeding um, using the Paw Peds website. And while you're there, you can run a test mating with any potential mates that that cat might have to check the inbreeding on that as well. Inside Paw Peds, sometimes you can see um, program, health program notes if that's been reported. So anytime you see those health program indicators, make sure you read those to see um, if any of the cats in the pedigree have submitted um, echocardiograms or any other health results that are being tracked by the health program. Inquire about any known health issues in the parents. Ask for a video of the kitten and check for physical details that you might not see in photos. Gums, profiles, the length of the tail, the legs are they straight or are they cow hocked you know anything detail that you're looking for that is important to you when it comes to breed standard it's it's really nice to see that in a video instead of a photo because photos can hide that stuff sometime and then ask to see the current weight of the kitten and it's not too much to ask them to send a picture of the cat on the scale so that you can verify that the weight is what they say. So that's a pretty lengthy checklist um, for pre-screening and, you know, collecting information. So you really only want to do that on the breeders that are at the top of your list that you've really, really narrowed down to and you like and you feel like they are a good candidate. Um, it, it really makes no sense to ask for all this stuff if you're not really, really interested in working with the breeder or if they don't have a kitten that you want at the time. You can also review social media accounts, um, 
I like to do this for a couple of months just to follow them and, and really try to get to know them a little bit better. Um, if time is not um, a constraint, then definitely recommend doing that. When you find the right kitten and you buy from that breeder and you have a good experience, that creates loyalty. This is going to automatically put this breeder in the front of your mind anytime you need a kitten. That is really what, that's what loyalty is about, is creating an experience for the buyer of your kittens and it's so good and you know even if something goes wrong you know the experience was still good and that you'll go back again and you'll get another kitten from them and another kitten from them and it's a lot of work to really start this process all over again and start from scratch so loyalty is huge in this process the process that we just discussed is what's known as the sales funnel. It's a psychological decision-making process that we as humans experience not only with kittens, but with everything that we buy. We don't even know what's happening, but it is. We move through this process in a natural way while our brain is trying to make a decision and it's looking for validation and it's looking for emotion and it's looking for a confident and truthful reason to make the decision buying process. I know it might sound silly, but it is actually something that happened to all of us without even knowing it. Really who controls the sales funnel process is the person that you're dealing with. So, if there are holes or gaps or inconsistencies or weaknesses anywhere in the sales funnel, you may immediately drop that person like a hot potato and go look for someone else. And most of the time, the, the person who is trying to get your business or earn your loyalty is not aware that this is even happening. Here's what I want you to know. You go through this process when buying a kitten and so do your buyers. There's no difference. There's a few things that change during the consideration stage, but the process is the same. Pet owners ask much different questions than breeders do. So if you've bought a kitten before, you know what this journey is like. It's not an easy decision when you're spending money on a kitten. If you get resistance from a breeder, you leave the funnel. If they don't answer your questions, you leave. If you don't like their pictures, you leave. And you don't give any reasoning for leaving, you just do. And you move on and you go find someone else that you like better, that you have a better experience with. And that's exactly what your buyers do. And that's what I want to really emphasize in this presentation is that your buyers put as much thought into buying their kitten that's going to be their pet for many, many years as you put into choosing a kitten for your breeding program. If there's something missing at any stage of someone's sales funnel, you leave. There's three stages to a major sales funnel, and that's awareness, consideration, and conversion. These are all the things that we just went through when we asked the three questions that we were speaking of while we were making the decision process of buying a kitten. You need to build your sales funnel. There's more and more people entering the space of breeding pedigree cats than ever before. I think it's because it's becoming much easier for people to learn and to acquire kittens and start a breeding program on their own. Whereas before it was quite challenging and there wasn't as many people coming into the space as there is now. It's time for you to stand out and really create an experience for people who are looking to buy a pedigree kitten and be the one that it's a no brainer. The decision is easy. You create confidence and trust in everything that you do because it's all done by intent. You can save time by working and building a marketing funnel that works and is easy for you to maintain. 
This is going to keep the leads flowing in and keep them in your funnel. And the best ones are going to pop out at the bottom. These are your buyers. Cap Reader Sensei has the perfect training for you to help you get your pedigree kitten sales funnel in place, activated and working for you so that you are captivating your audience, keeping them engaged, building trust, and really building the desire for them to only want a kitten from your cattery. It's our cattery marketing masterclass. You'll learn how to build the perfect kitten sales funnel and outshine your competition by a thousand miles. The URL to register for the masterclass is on your screen right now. It's bit.ly forward slash kitten dash masterclass. Once you register, you're going to learn all three stages of the sales funnel, and you're going to learn step by step how to implement every single piece of this sales funnel that you need to be the most powerful marketer for your cattery online. You can outshine your competition, captivate your audience, and never worry about losing people in your sales funnel again. So register for the masterclass, come over here and learn how to market your cattery like a professional, and we'll see you on the other side.